Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today. Come back with you with my Antics Net ISO installation. If you remember from part one of our series, part one was installing the Net ISO. We acquired it from the Antics.Memphis.org website, and then we installed it into a virtual box. Keeping in mind that you could install it on regular hardware as long as you have a legacy boot, because the Antics, the command line installer that comes with the Net ISO, does not support UEFI installations. Okay. So here I am. I got it's up and running in VirtualBox. You see Dolphin and Annex Mate. If you remember, that's what the name I gave the test in, the test system and installation. If you need it, the last <sighs> the last video also covered partitioning the disk. Okay. Uh, so right now we're going to install a basic Mate desktop. So with the Mate desktop, you need a few things. You need a, and here's my cheat sheet of stuff you need. I've done the research for you. Now you can do. There's all sorts of desktop environments available in the repositories. There's KDE, there's uh, GNOME, there's XFCE, there's, you know, whatever. There's, they're all in there. There's Cinnamon, Pantheon. I don't know if Pantheon's in there, but Cinnamon's in there. There's all sorts of them in there. Uh, but I'm going to set up a Mate environment. It seems to be the desktop du jour for a lot of people at the moment. So you need a few things. One, you need the Xorg package. Now the Xorg package is a meta package. It's going to install the basic X11 windowing system. It's going to install all the video drivers. Okay, The Mate desktop environment is going to install a reasonable default Mate environment. You can install a lighter version that's even more bare bones, but this is a good start. This one will get you where you need to be 80% of the way. For what most people would consider a full install. These other utilities are kind of special stuff. Uh, these things make the IS, ISO snapshot system and the remaster system work a little better. Uh, for compression wise, this is some lock file stuff. I don't, it's in the, I don't know what they're for, but it's in the antics. Um, it's in the forum post where the developer suggested some things to install. This is one of the ones I added, XDG user directories. That's the directories like downloads or video or documents. That's that's where those do default folders come for, for when users are created. And then light DM for a display manager. You can use Slim and Anti, the developer of Antics, has a uh, instructions for updating Slim in a forum post, which I will put in the uh, show notes below. Then there's also a few what I consider essential tools. Synaptic, Build Essential for building packages. Uh, DKMS for things like uh, dynamically inserting kernel modules. That's, that's the magic that does this. Udell, just because I like it for mounting stuff from the command line. SIF Utils for accessing Samba shares. CPU Freak Utils for uh, the speed step type controls for the CPU. Uh, that'd be like throttling down and throttling up as needed. That's, that's the package that handles that. NetTools is going to handle a lot of network uh, configuration stuff, especially for wireless. YCD is going to be my network man my uh, my network manager, not network manager, but I mean it's my um, connection manager. Uh, you can use network manager if you want. I uh, I have to be honest, I had a few little, few little problems with it. Uh, don't exactly know why, so I went with YCD for this installation. Also, Utils will help you get your also sound card set up. GKSU is that package, that's the, that's the little graphical pop-up for your root passwords when applications need it. That's what does that. Uh, Pulse Audio and PavView Control and Pulse Audio Utils for controlling your sound server. Now you can use without you can use most of most packages without Pulse Audio. I've kind of come to enjoy it uh, in, in MX, so I'm going to install it here. It's not strictly speaking required. Uh, Avi da Avahi Damon uh, and the, this stuff here is a lot of network discovery stuff. Uh, helps browsing shares and configuring cups and that kind of thing better. For that matter, I don't have cups in this list, but cups for printing would be good to install. Uh, so these are going to be the essential tools that I'm going to install in this video. So right to command line. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the sources. App get update and use your password. And it's going to update the sources. Okay, now we're going to say sudo apt get install xorg mate desktop. In. Luckily, tab completion works here. Get text base uh, xz utils lock file progs xdg user directories and light dm. 
And that will give us a basic environment. I'm also going to throw in these other things. Synaptic, build essential, DKMS, you devil, SIFS utils, CPU freak utils, net tools, YCD, all uh, utils. I all mean, should sing this, right? Pulse audio, have you control? Pulse audio utils, Vahi Damon. Uh, did I spell that right? I did not. Damon uh, lib in ss dash m uh, mdn s. And I got a couple more things over here in the list. And menu. Now, menu, again, strictly speaking, you wouldn't need it, but menu use, has the su to root command in that a lot of MX packages use. So if I ever want to use a root level MX package, I need, I need menu for that. So we're going to let it go. And it's going to download 285 megabytes of packages right here. And it's going to use about a gig of space when it's done. So, yeah, we're starting to get real with the installation. I'm going to let this go, and we'll be back in a few minutes to see um, the result. Okay, so here we are. The download is actually finished. That took, I got a fairly fast internet connection at home. That, that took about five minutes to download all the packages. Maybe maybe closer to seven, uh, but now it's got to set them all up. So this is going to take a little while longer. So I'm going to pause again. You can see it's doing selecting and unpacking. This step should be relatively hands off. When we install firmware later, and then in a later video, uh, there's a couple of firmwares that ask questions. But for the most part, nothing's going to ask any questions after you run the app git command. So feel free to get up, walk away, get a pop, do whatever you got to do. I'll be back in a minute. And here we are back again, and you can see it's it's done a bunch of stuff. It's 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 set up some more locales. It's it's set up all the utilities. So now to get into the system, we just need to do a quick reboot, and we should boot in the light DM and the X environment. So let's go ahead and do that. Sudo reboot. And we're going to spin back around. And noting I have done nothing to grub, I've done not touched it. All this should work without without too much hassle. And here we are in LightDM. Now the password is what you set up. It's the same password. So Dolphin and whatever for my username. And here we are in a very basic, um, a very basic uh, Mate environment. Uh, very few applications installed, not much here, but Synaptic's here for you to get your graphical installation on, do whatever you want to do. You can get your network set up and go from there. Okay, next video, I'm going to show you some, tip, uh, some tips and tricks on other pieces of the Mate desktop you might want to install, and also uh, uh, a few tricks on getting firmware installed. For tips, tricks, how-to, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.